Hello everyone, welcome back to Mass Explorer. How to solve and find the value of A in this nice and interesting algebra math problem, which is A times A times A is equal to A plus A plus A. So here the variable A is multiplied three times in the left hand side, but here in the right hand side, the same variable is added three times. So how can we find out the value of A from here from this problem? Look to the left hand side here, the base is same, having one power. So here we will write the base one time and we will add their powers using the same base algebraic identity. So this left hand side will become, we will write the base one time and we will add the powers. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to, and here in the right hand side, this same A is added 3 times. So we can write this as 3 times A. But we can also take this a common from the right hand side. So let us take out a common from the right hand side. So here only one one will be left in all the terms. Next this will become a raised to power. This is 3 is equal to and this will become a times this is 3. Or which we can also write this as 3 times a. Now here we will move this 3a to the left hand side. So this will become negative 3a. And this equation will become implies a cube minus this will become 3a is equal to 0. Next we can write this a cube as a square times a minus 3a is equal to 0. Now here from the left hand side we will take this a common from both the terms. So this equation will become implies let us take out a common. So here a square is left minus here only 3 is left is equal to 0. Now here the product of these two expression is 0. So here either this expression will be 0 or this one will be 0. So from here we will get two equations. The first equation is a is equal to 0 or the second equation is a square minus 3 is equal to 0. And here we get the first value of a that is an obvious value of a, a is equal to 0. Now we will solve this quadratic equation for the other two values of a. So therefore first we can write this 3 as as we know that we can write x is equal to x square whole square root or we can also write this as square root of x whole square so here we can write x as square root of x whole square so with this way we will replace this 3 with square root of 3 whole square so this equation will become this will become implies a square minus 3 can be written as square root of 3 whole square is equal to 0. Here in this equation we will use an algebraic identity a square minus b square identity. So here in this equation we will use this one algebraic identity a square minus b square a minus b times a plus b. So here in this problem we have a is equal to a and b is equal to square root of 3. So this equation and this left hand side will become this will become a minus b. No, a is a minus and b is square root of 3. So a minus square root of 3 times a plus square root of 3 is equal to 0. Here the product of these two linear equation is 0. So here either this expression or this equation will be 0 or this will be 0. So again from here we will get two equations. The first equation is a minus square root of 3 is equal to 0 and the second equation is a plus square root of 3 is equal to 0. Now we will solve these two equations separately for the other two values of a. So here we will move this negative square root of 3 to the right hand side so it will become positive square root of 3. So this is our second solution and second value of a. So let us suppose this is a2. 
Now let us suppose solve this equation. So here we will so move this positive square root of 3 to the right hand side. So it will become negative. And the third value of a will become a3 is equal to negative square root of 3. So a3 is equal to negative square root of 3 is our third solution and third value of a. Now here we will try to verify these three solutions that as these three solutions a1 is equal to 0, a2, a2 is equal to positive square root of 3 and a3 is equal to negative square root of 3 are the exact and correct value of a in this interesting algebra math problem or not. So we will verify these values here. So let's verify the first value of a that is a1 is equal to 0. To verify this value of a, we will rewrite the problem here again. The problem is a times a times a is equal to a plus a plus a. Now let us replace a with its value 0. So this will become 0 times 0 times 0 is equal to 0 plus 0 plus 0. Now as we know that multiplying and adding 0 any number of times, so this is always 0. So this will become 0 is equal to 0. Now since both sides are equal, so it means that a1 is equal to 0 is the exact and correct value of a. Here we will try to verify these two values of a. a2 is equal to positive square root of 3 and a3 is equal to negative square root of 3. So we will verify these values here. Now let's verify a2 is equal to positive square root of 3. So to verify this value again we will write the problem here. So the problem is a times a times a is equal to a plus a plus a. Now let us replace a with positive square root of 3. So this will become positive square root of 3 times positive square root of 3 times square root of 3 is equal to here we will add this number 3 times. So square root of 3 plus square root of 3 plus square root of 3. Here in the left hand side, this same number is multiplied two times, so we will change it to square form. So, therefore, we can write this as square root of 3 whole square times this number square root of 3. Here, the coefficient of square root of 3 in these terms is 1. So, we will add this number square root of 3 three times. So, this will become 3 times square root of 3. Here in the left hand side, this square and this square will be cancelled. So only 3 will be left here in the left hand side. And this will be the same. Times square root of 3 is equal to, and the right hand side will be the same. 3 times square root of 3. Now look at to both sides. Both sides are same. So it means that a2 is equal to positive square root of 3 is also the exact and correct value of a. Now here we will try to verify the third value of a, a3 is equal to negative square root of 3. So again let us write the problem. So the problem is a times a times a is equal to a plus a plus a. Now let us replace a with this value negative square root of 3. So this will become negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 times negative square root of 3 is equal to here we will add negative square root of 3 to 3 times so this will become negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 plus negative square root of 3 now here in the left hand side we will change these two numbers to square form so we can write this as negative square root of 3 whole square times negative square root of 3 is equal to and here from the right hand side we will take the negative square root of 3 common from other terms so this will become let us take out negative square root of 3 common so here in other terms only one one will be left now here next we can write this as negative 1 times square root of 3 whole square times negative square root of 3 is equal to and this will be the same negative square root of 3 times adding 1 3 times so this is simply 3 now here we can apply this square over negative 1 and square root of 3 no negative 1 whole square is always positive 1 because taking square of a negative number having 2 so that is always even 
or positive so this will be positive one so this will become one times square root of three whole square times negative square root of three is equal to and here we will move this three to the front and also the negative sign so this will become three times negative square root of three so let's further simplify these two sides so here this square and this square root will be cancelled so this will become three times one time three is three and this will be negative square root of three is equal to and here we'll move this negative sign to the front so this will become negative three times square root of three we'll also move this negative sign to the front so this will become negative three times square root of three is equal to negative three times square root of three now there is negative sign in both sides so we can cancel this negative sign from both sides so this will become three times square root of three is equal to three times square root of three now again since both sides are equal so it means that a three is equal to negative square root of three is also the exact and correct value of a in this nice and interesting algebra math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching